Hello everyone, it's Patty Behan, and in this video we're going to make this beautiful Father's Day card using perfect pearls and stickles, so let's get started. To begin, I'm using perfect pearls, and I'm going to make a paint out of them. I'm using perfect pearl, perfect copper, and blue patina. And you want to take some of the powder and scoop it into the jar lid with a palette knife. And then you add a few drops of water and mix it up with a paintbrush. And then you'll clean off your brush in between the colors. We want to make our paint all ahead of time so that we can just paint our painting start to finish. And then last we'll do the white and I probably should have done that first because it's the lightest color but it doesn't matter. Okay I'm adding a little bit more there and I think we're ready to paint. So to begin we're going to paint our fish and you just make like an eye shape and then color that in with the white and then to make the tail you just make some brush strokes look to make it look like it's swimming like in a V shape and then we're going to add the fins in the perfect copper so I'm making two fins there at the bottom and then one at the top this is not um, an anatomically correct fish it's just just a fun thing to paint and we'll add a little perfect copper into the tail here and then a little bit more just on the fish's body and just to add some dimension to it. And I think that looks pretty good. So next thing we're going to do is just give it a dry for a second with the heat tool. And I love how shimmery this is. And then we're going to paint in an eyeball. We're going to use the blue patina and you don't want your brush to be too wet you just make a little dot there and then we'll let that dry and we'll come back and we'll add some gills with the perfect copper I'm moving in close here so that you can see a little better what I'm doing add some brush strokes to the fins and a little more copper just to give it a little more depth and then I'm going to add a highlight to the eye and my paintbrush was too wet so I'm repainting the blue in there and then we'll dry this again and now let's try to add the highlight it'll probably work a little bit better okay yes that looks like it did the trick I'm going to add a little more blue patina for the mouth here and then we'll continue with the rest of the card. So I have a five and a half by a four and a quarter piece of Distress Heavy Stock in black. And I'm using half inch washi tape and I'm going to mask all four sides of the cardstock here. And I'm flush to the edge with the tape. And this will make a nice crisp finish um, for our little water background that we're going to create now and I'm using blue hydrangea and some zinnia and I'll be using the blue patina again and we have to start off by making our paint we'll put some powder into the jar lid add a couple drops of water and then mix it up and then we'll do the same thing add some more water till we get it the consistency we like and we'll do the same thing with the zinnia and some water and then we'll mix it up with the paintbrush and we're ready to create our background and so I'm going to start off with some blue hydrangea and I'm just going to make sure I cover all the edges and I'm going to make an oval shape and I'm just going to make like swirly short strokes so I, I create like a tunnel I guess you could say and then you can add a little of the blue patina to give it a little more depth you can't really tell here the color difference but when it dries you'll see you'll notice it 
and then just go back and forth until you get just a little oval here and lightly fill in that background there with just a little bit of color and or add some zinnia next and once we like it we can add some more in the middle there and now I'm going to dry this with the heat tool and you see that shine when it dries that's really beautiful and once that's dry we're going to remove the tape this is my favorite part it's so satisfying and one more piece to go and there we have our background and now we're going to cut out our fish and we're going to leave like a small black border as we fussy cut this fish and then once that's done we're going to add a little detail to the fish and I'm using a letter it fine liner that's a zero one and you're just going to make some quick light little strokes to add some lines put a dot for the eye and just outline it a little bit and maybe you could see it better if I move it over to the side here and just quick wispy strokes with the pen you want to outline the gills here just to add a little more to the fish make it look a little less cartoonish and now I'm going to write our sentiment. I have a letterate metallic marker. I'm using the blue one. It comes in a set of four. And I'm going to write Happy Father's Day. And you can use this to make a birthday card or just a greeting to anyone. So you can write any sentiment you like. I'm again using the Distress Black Heavy Stock to do this. And once I do that, I'm going to set that aside to dry a second before I trim it down. And now I have a top folding card and I'm going to glue that down with the tape runner. You can use your favorite adhesive and we'll stick that on the center. I've trimmed down the edges of the black piece about an eighth of an inch from each side. And now I'm using foam tape to adhere the fish to the card like so and now I'm going to go ahead and trim this down with my trimmer and I'll just snip that edge off that looks good we'll add a little white mat with some stark white cardstock and we'll trim that again and then glue that together and we'll center that so that you have a little border around the sentiment. And next, I'm going to use some foam tape again to give this some dimension when we put it down. And I'm cutting it in half so that it's a smaller piece of foam. And we'll stick it right in the corner there. Almost done, we have one more touch to finish it off we're going to use some stickles and twinkle to make some bubbles you just um, make some bubbles coming out of the mouth and then just randomly around the corners and I'm putting them in groups of three because an odd number is more pleasant when you're um, creating accents and I'll put some up top here and then we'll let this dry and I'll show you how beautiful it looks when it's dry and there you have it so fun and it's so shimmery and sparkly so I hope you'll give this a try and for more crafty videos don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time